Welcome back. This video should be started with a big red blinking warning that everything here is experimental and in proof of concept phase and it's not ready for production. But if you are interested about contribution uh, possibilities, it's a very good video for you. So recently we had a conversation on the Apache Ozone dev mailing list that an Ozone Go client can be started to develop to have better support for non-GVM languages and provide native Fuse drivers. So, and it can be a, a very useful part of Apache Ozone. And here I would like to show the current state and uh, the possible power. So I have a running Ozone cluster started with Docker. Let me show that. Yeah, you can see that I have data nodes, SCM, OM, everything. And if I go to the SCM container, for example, then we can see that we have buckets under the volume one. And we have keys under the bucket one. Uh, it's just key list. Yeah, and you can see that I have two keys, one where the data size is very, very similar to the readme. And the other one, it's a, a real jar file, which is up, up, uploaded to a, a, with a prefix, which can be seen as a, as a directory. So this is what we have in Ozone. So let's go back to the Ozone Go directory, which is supposed to be imported to the Apache Ozone project. So here we have multiple subdirectories. One is that the API, which includes all of the API to use RPC, Hadoop RPC, and everything. You can see that there are proto files which are generated and data node that is standalone client. The most interesting is that with using this uh, API, we can create, for example, a faster Ozone TLI. I need to define the Ozone Manager host, and after that, I can just do the same bucket list wall one. Yeah, I have bucket one and a few local lines. And let's try to check the key list. Wall one slash bucket one. Yeah and I have exactly the same keys. So that was the CLI, just very simple, just to test the API. We also have a Fuse driver here. It's also very experimental. We can just build it, okay. So I can try to mount one bucket to somewhere. Let's say I'm creating a bucket one, okay. And Ozone Fuse. Okay, here I have the Ozone Manager host again. I have the volume, volume wall one. I have the bucket one. This is what I would like to check. And it's supposed to be mounted to slash TMP bucket one. Okay, and it started. So I can just go to the slash TMP bucket one. And here we have everything. Right, we have the jar file, we have the key one, and now we can check the key and understand why the size is exactly the same as the readme. Yeah, because this is the readme uploaded. Okay. So this is in a very early phase. It should be improved in a lot of way. For example, we have no caching at all. We use a lot of RPC calls. We couldn't write this mom, this uh, volume. We don't feel the date modified yet. But it's it's the first version of a working native Apache Ozone Fuse file system. So let's go back to. Okay, let's me just uh, unmount it. Oh, unmount it. And let's go back to the repository. So that was the Fuse file system. And the other interesting uh, part is this library. This is also a proof of concept, but you can see that there is a, a 
go code here, which includes some additional metadata, which means that it will be compiled to a native standard C library. Why is it useful? Well, for example, if uh, it, you can use it from Python or any other language which uh, where the usage of the native C libraries are easy. So here, this is a test Python. You can see that the library itself is loaded. So this is a standard C library. And we should use some strange types, but on, after that, we can just connect to the localhost OZO manager and try to print the Volva bucket one key one. So let's check how does it work. And yeah, we have all of the metadata about the key one. So that's an also interesting uh, possibility to create shared C library and use it from other languages. So this is the experiment. Hopefully it will be uh, uploaded as one patch to an Ozon Go Apache Ozon Go Git repository. And if you are interested, please join to this issue or you can join to the uh, other channels like the Apache Slack or Apache Ozon Dev mailing list as it's uh, written in the contributing MD in the Apache Ozone repository. Thank you.